All you need to create lightning is wintergreen lifesavers and a hammer. Electricity provides excited nitrogen molecules with extra energy, which nitrogen molecules then release as visible light. When you smash the sugar crystals, the pieces become positively and negatively charged. This makes electricity jump through the air between the pieces of sugar, exciting nitrogen molecules and making them emit light. Pretty cool, right? What you'll need to create a Skittles rainbow are Skittles, obviously, a plate, and some warm water. All you do is you arrange the Skittles in rainbow order, or really whatever order you want, and then pour some warm water on it, and then watch the magic. And this happens because Skittles are made from mostly sugar and sugar dissolves in warm water pretty quickly. It's a really neat thing to see. What you'll need to make fizzy dip is a packet of Jello citric acid, some powdered sugar, and baking soda. Two teaspoons of jello powder, half a teaspoon of citric acid, three teaspoons of powdered sugar, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Then you just mix it all together. Now the chemical reaction that happens actually happens inside your mouth when the substance meets with your saliva. The baking soda and citric acid create a fizzing. Our favorite way to eat it is with licorice and it's a family favorite. What you'll need is some Skittles, a few cups, warm water, vinegar, and baby oil. And then we put our three favorite colors in the cups and added warm water to one, vinegar to another, and baby oil to the last cup with green Skittles. And then we talked about which ones would dissolve first, how long they would take to dissolve, and wrote down some guesses and then watch the experiment. Does water dissolve? Yeah. The water is dissolving it fast, huh? Yeah. And what about the vinegar? Yeah. And what about the oil? What you'll need is a chocolate bar and a knife and probably a cutting board. And what you'll need to do is take your chocolate bar and make a diagonal cut. Count one, two rows up, make a diagonal cut. And then make a straight cut on those two and then make one more straight cut. Mine kind of fell apart, but you'll get the idea. And then you can take out a piece of chocolate and eat it if you want. And then rearrange it like that. And it's still a three by four chocolate bar. What you'll need for this is baking soda, corn syrup, and sugar. Now my recipe only makes a little bit, but you can feel free to double my recipe. What you'll need is five tablespoons of sugar, add that to a pan, and two tablespoons of corn syrup, and then you mix that up until it boils. I cooked on a low to medium heat. And then 
once it's boiling, I continue to stir, cooking it for another minute or two, and then add one teaspoon of baking soda. And as soon as you mix that in, you'll start to see it foam up, and then you'll want to quickly pour it into a flat dish and let it cool. And then the baking soda reacts, creating carbon dioxide bubbles, which is why it expands and makes it crunchy and fluffy. What you need for this is gobstoppers and some warm water and a dish. All you do is you lay out your gobstoppers in different colors and then pour some hot water in and you'll see them start to dissolve but you'll notice that the colors do not mix with each other. That's because gobstoppers are made with a special chemical that doesn't allow the colors to mix, which is how they get the layers. All you need for this is M&Ms, some hot water, and a bowl. Just simply pour your M&Ms in the bowl and then add some hot water. And you'll see that the M's will start to float up to the surface. That is because the M's are made with an edible paper and they don't dissolve. What you'll need for this is some warm water, sugar, food coloring, um, some cups, and then a bigger cup if you want to make your rainbow in the bigger cup. And we used an eyedropper. So what you do is you just fill your cups with the food coloring. And then you're going to add sugar. So in the first cup, red, we didn't add any. And then we added one teaspoon to orange, two to yellow, three to green four to blue, and five to the purple. And then we mix it up until it dissolved. Now this experiment didn't work out exactly like we intended because we have toddlers. But <laughs> what we did was we put purple on bottom and then carefully added the blue and then carefully added some green and then it started to make layers until my toddler mixed it all up. So I tried to quickly redo it again for you. There you can see some slight layers, but not great. What you'll need for this is sugar, a cup, a clip, something to hold your wooden sticks, water, and some wooden sticks. We use skewer sticks, but really you could, use, you could even use string um, as long as it's cut in string. All you'll do is you boil one cup of water and then add two and a half cups of sugar. But add it slowly, like a quarter cup at a time, and wait till that quarter cup dissolves. And then add another one and wait for it to dissolve and add another one. Then pour your liquid into a cup, add your skewer or your string or whatever you want to use but make sure it doesn't touch the bottom or the sides of the jar. And then you have to wait three to five days for your crystals to start growing. Now I totally forgot to take any pictures or video of us eating the candy, so I'm sorry. If you try any of these experiments, please let me know. I would love to see.